Hi, this is Buddy. Buddy's a diabetic cat. Did you know that diabetes manifests itself the same way in animals like cats and dogs as it does in people? It's true. And just like a diabetic human, diabetic cats and dogs need to have their blood sugar checked, especially before you inject them with insulin. Somebody really smart figured out that you can actually take a glucometer, which is what human diabetics use to check their blood sugar, and you can use it on a cat or a dog. These are the test strips that come in these little foil packages. Push it in. Hear the little beep? That's a lancet. There's a place on the rim of their ear, right here, right on the outer edge of the rim, where there's a pronounced vein. It's the outer rim of the ear. Good boy. Anywhere on the rim of the ear is great. That's where the vein is. And we're just going to do a little prick. And another little prick. I like to do two. If you could hear Buddy right now, he's purring. Now come on in close, because there's a little drop of blood forming on the rim of that ear, and I want you to see that before I go ahead and suck it up with the glucometer. See that? Great. We take the glucometer. The glucometer, the little test strip, is kind of like a vacuum. Watch this just sucks up that drop of blood. Now if you notice Buddy didn't flinch, he didn't meow. Then we're just going to take a little gauze and just staunch that tiny little bead of blood that's there. Hear the little beep? You did great! And then in uh, about 10 seconds we'll get our reading. We'll see what his blood sugar is looking like. 125. That's really good. That's almost normal. So Buddy's doing great. Just one final thing. Um, this is a logbook that I keep here. And I actually write down my cat's blood sugars here. And that way we can keep a record of them. Uh, to give to the vet for his vet appointments and just to kind of track his insulin dosage and see how it's going. Is he getting enough? Is he getting too much? So that was 125. And let's see, it's 11.15 a.m. 